Welcome to the next episode of the How Could X Character Win Total Drama series. Today's episode is the spokesperson for anger management, Eva. Now Eva is probably the most physically gifted contestant in the series, or at least in Total Drama Island and Total Drama Action. She's able to throw things such as canoes, dumbbells, and more several yards out of the cabin, and in a later episode she is shown defeating Sasquatch with relative ease. She only gets voted out because Eva is the embodiment of the sin of wrath. So how the hell can we make this character win Total Drama Island with that in mind? Well, you can't. Or at least you can't do it with normal Eva. Normal Eva is hot-headed, she's overly competitive, and she doesn't realize how far she's gone until it's too late. As a result, we need to use a different form of her. One that comes from the end of the series as Eva becomes a lot more chilled out in the finale of Total Drama Island. That is the version we will have to use here. Otherwise, I can't see any other way where Eva's anger doesn't get on the nerves of everyone. So to start off episode 1, Ezekiel still says a sexist remark, which will induce the same reaction from Eva in Ezekiel. Ezekiel is eliminated. Episode 2 is the big change here, as Eva, despite dropping the MP3 player like normal, she will instead go to someone like Bridget to ask if she's seen it and for help finding it, to which I'm sure she could rope someone on the mail team to search the mail cabin for her. Heather would still hold on to it, but accusations will start being made that someone on the other team must have stolen it, and Bridget is able to calm Eva down enough to stop her from just going and having an angry outburst at the Screaming Gophers. As the crew of Bridget, Eva, and a male of your choosing besides probably Duncan go to the Screaming Gophers, Heather gets insanely defensive over it, saying how it's not their fault that Eva can't keep track of her belongings, and this makes Eva mad enough to tell her to turn her pockets out, to which Heather refuses but Lashana joins in, telling them to do it so they'll leave them alone. Heather inevitably tries to find a way out of it, but inevitably Heather gets caught stealing the MP3 and Eva normally would probably kill her if she found out, but this time just slides her finger across her own neck to signify that she will kill her eventually. Heather tries to explain herself, but nobody really believes it. Eva is pissed about the whole situation, but with this in mind, she has potentially saved herself from elimination. Now who would go home if Eva didn't? Honestly, I think they would vote someone they dislike, and Duncan was already making Harold's life a living hell, and so I think they vote off Harold here. Episode 4 would be would be even better with Eva getting in the way before Tyler can waste the balls on the other team. Eva alone probably could win this challenge 3-0. No one would still go home Lincoln Cannon. Episode 5 would be the first big change as they voted Harold out, but I think in the end they'd have Eva do some lifting and it would get an impressive score for the absurd things she can lift, but it wouldn't help them win in the end. Now I think this is where Bridget would go home since she's the reason they lost the challenge. Episode 6 would go mostly smoother in the camping portion, but they'd still forget Katie and Sadie, causing them to go to elimination. I don't think anyone can make a case for why Katie or Sadie don't get eliminated here, so Katie goes home like in canon. Episode 7 is practically the same, but Eva has a huge grudge with Courtney after she wouldn't jump into the slime after she was able to overcome her own fear. Eva basically says how Courtney is a liability since she kept them from winning the wheelbarrows in the first challenge, fell asleep in the second, didn't compete in the third, didn't help in the fourth, had little to do in the fifth, and now is the reason they lost this challenge again. She deserves to go home over Tyler, who was pathetic but wasn't detrimental to the challenge failure, to which Mostly everyone agrees despite arguments, and despite Courtney making her case for why she deserves to stay and get some votes on Eva, Courtney still holds majority and gets Courtney out. Episode 8 would have Tyler and Eva sharing a canoe, and Tyler talks about how thankful he is for sticking up for him since Courtney was getting them to vote him out. To which Eva says that she didn't do it for him, he just didn't mess up as bad as Courtney, to which Tyler just gives a nervous chuckle and looks away disappointed in himself. To which Eva asks if he's just gonna give up that easy because of one mistake, to which Tyler says he won't, but Eva says to prove it and to get them to shore first before anyone else, and they have a slight competition to which they do make it there first. From this point on, things go as in canon, besides the fact there's no Jeff and Bridget subplot for this episode, in the end the Killer Bass win and Izzy's chased away. Episode 9 would still have Killer Bass winning as the mutiny within the Screaming Gophers would not change. Cody would still go home. Episode 10 wouldn't change and Beth got voted out again. 
Episode 11 would go largely the same, with DJ losing the challenge for them. In canon, Sadie was only eliminated here as Courtney hated the fact she was hit by her in the challenge. So this time, DJ will get his rightful elimination here with Duncan, Sadie, Eva, and Tyler voting for him. Episode 12 would actually have the Screaming Gophers losing here, and Heather would try to get Justin voted off, but Justin would use his charm to get Owen, Lindsay, and Lashana to vote Heather, which all four do when Heather is eliminated. In episode 13, I think Tyler would wipe out at the end, costing them the challenge, and Tyler would hear from Duncan that they aren't gonna vote off Tyler, since that would make the woman to guy ratio even. And they nominate Eva for an elimination, but Tyler suggests Sadie, to which they say that Eva's the much bigger threat they need to get rid of. Tyler goes to Eva and says he needs to return the favor she did and that the team was going to vote her off, and she makes a plan with her, Tyler, and Sadie to vote Duncan out. For Merge, Izzy and Courtney would return, to which Courtney would immediately make her anger known to Eva. Courtney actually plays the role Eva had in canon, trying to get Eva eliminated the entire time. And when Eva loses to Lashana, she's overjoyed, but Courtney gets eliminated just like Eva did in the canon episode, despite, you know, Eva not having immunity. Episode 16, and one of the new players would get the key Heather head, which gives immunity, so 1 through 4, and it's 4, meaning Tyler gets immunity for this episode. Justin would get all the people he can to vote off Trent, since Justin wants the alliance between Gwen and Trent dispersed. They agree, and so Trent is eliminated here. For episode 17, I think that Lashana would still win, Eva would get invincibility from tagging someone, and the girls would all talk about someone to vote off, and Tyler, Justin, and Owen are all vetoed by someone else, so they choose to vote off Jeff since nobody has any qualms about that. Episode 18 and Lindsay gets voted out the exact same way because this episode is written terribly and I don't want to mess with it until Lindsay's How Can They Win episode. Episode 19 and it's for the lamest death so I think Sadie would get eliminated here out of these options. Episode 20 I think that Izzy would shoot Justin instead of Heather by accident and as a result would get Justin eliminated as Justin couldn't make a case for why he should stay to the other females. Episode 21 and the teams would be Eva and Tyler, Izzy and Owen, and Lashana and Gwen. Izzy and Owen would win round 1, Eva and Tyler would take round 2, and Lashana and Gwen would take round 3, or apparently the only round that actually mattered in this competition. Eva and Tyler decide they want to vote Izzy, and despite Owen's protests, Lashana and Gwen agree, and Izzy is voted out 6th. Lashana will get voted out like in canon in episode 22. In episode 24, Tyler and Owen will lose like Duncan and Owen due to sticky buns, and Chef will decide to take Owen out of the game this time. The final three challenge is the same, but Eva tells Tyler he better not wimp out now. He's done worse than this through the whole game. Eventually, it would come down to I think Gwen and Tyler in a tiebreaker challenge, and whether or not Gwen or Tyler win here is irrelevant, as I could see it going either way. But I think it would come down to who has the most freebies, and Eva shares half of hers with Tyler, and Gwen is eliminated. Either way, it doesn't matter because Eva becomes the main winner of the season, as nobody can beat her in this competition that is mostly about physical strength. I could see it being a nice competition between the two, though. It but in the end, Eva wins with Tyler being an alternate winner of the season. And with that, I have laid out a possible win condition. If you think it's contrived, then leave those thoughts in the comments, make the day yours, and I'll see you next time with our next contestant, Noah.